Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a chain full loop. So get some yarn and do a slip knot to begin. Then we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Chain four, and we're gonna put our hook into our first chain. Bring the yarn through, straight through the loop on your hook to do a little loop joined at the beginning and the end. In the middle is a hole and into that hole we're going to work eight single crochets. So this pattern's in US terminology. So in UK terminology that is a double crochet. So we're going to put our hook into the middle, do a single crochet. I'm going to do eight single crochet. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight single crochet. Then we're going to find our first single crochet that we made and we're going to slip stitch into there to join the round. So that's the end of our first round. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So I'm going to do a single crochet in there. I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch as well. Single crochet in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain four. One, two, three and four. I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch on here. So a double crochet or a treble crochet in UK terminology. So a double crochet in that next stitch. Then I'm going to do chain one and then I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So I'm going to do a chain one then a double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to repeat this to the last stitch. Chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, and a double crochet in the next stitch. And then when you've got one stitch left, so this is our last stitch here, we're going to chain four two, three and four and we're going to do a single crochet in that last stitch there like so. Okay then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did. Okay then what we're going to do is we're going to chain four one, two, three and four. We're going to do a double crochet in this chain full space over here so do a double crochet in there and then we're going to chain one and do another double crochet. Okay, and we want uh, five of these double crochets so we're going to chain one again and do another double crochet in there. Then we're going to chain one again and do another double crochet in there. And do that one more time, chain one, double crochet. So you've got five of these double crochets all in that chain full space. One, two, three, four, five, and then these chains. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a chain one. Um, in the next chain one space here, we're going to do a double crochet. And then we're going to chain one. We'll do another double crochet in there. Chain one. And then another double crochet in there. So you've got three double crochets in there. With chain ones in between, three in there. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to do one double crochet in this next one chain space. Just a double crochet in there, chain one, then we're going to do a treble in this previous stitch here. So we're going to yarn over twice and go into the stitch at the top of this double crochet and do a treble. Two, pull through two, pull through two. So in UK terminology, that's a double treble. 
And then we're going to do that in reverse. So we're going to chain one, then in the next one chain space we do a double crochet, just the one. Then chain one and do three lots of double crochet chain ones in there. So start off with a double crochet, chain one, another double crochet in there, chain one, and then another double crochet in there. So you've got three double crochets in there with one chain ones in between. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to do five lots of double crochets and chain ones in here. So in this four chain space, do a double crochet, chain one, another double crochet, chain one, move them over, another double crochet, three, chain one, another double crochet, four, chain one and one more double crochet then we're going to stop there and we're going to chain four one two three and four and we're going to slip stitch in that first single crochet here this third one in the middle so you've got one two three on the previous round so in that one in the middle where we slip stitch before we're going to go back into there and do slip stitch. So there we go, our heart is almost finished but we're going to do a little sort of pico edging all the way around. So we're going to chain three, two and three. We're going to slip stitch in this first chain space here. We'll do that all the way around, chain three, slip stitch in that one chain space, Oops. chain three, slip stitch in the next one chain space and just repeat that all the way around chain three slip stitch Coming up to the end, we're going to chain three and then finish up with a slip stitch in this uh, chain. Was it a chain four or a chain three? It was a chain four space, wasn't it? Here. And then we're just going to slip stitch again in that third, in that middle single crochet rather, down here again. Just slip stitch into there. And there we go. There is our finished heart. So, what we're going to do cut slightly longer tail and then what we can do is just bring up a loop. I'm going to trim down this tail end and get our yarn needle. The camera wants to focus and uh, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to sing so down here neatly but instead of putting all the way through, I'm going to keep a loop. Then I can use this to hang it or add it to some gift wrap. And then I'm going to secure that again, like that, and back in the opposite direction. Trim down the excess. And there we go. There's our little lacy Pico heart. And you can make this in any weight yarn. Um, if you use really thin yarn, it creates a lovely little delicate lacy flower. I put it down here, you might be able to see it better, like so. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, hope you managed to follow along, hope this yarn wasn't too dark. I'm really suffering with trying to film tutorials in the winter, it's so so dark in the UK at the moment, so uh, do bear with me. <laughs> I should do more tut tutorials in the summer I think. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial so you remember where my channel is and don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I do extra giveaways and tutorials and behind the scenes and lots of fun stuff over there. And I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching. Bye!